we'll look at some arithmetic sequences. Remember, an arithmetic sequence goes from one term to the next by always adding the same value. The general equation for an arithmetic sequence is an equals a1 plus n minus 1d, where an is the value for the nth term in the sequence, a1 is the value for the first term in the sequence, and d is the common difference, or the number we add to each term to get the next term in the sequence. Now we'll do an example to show how this equation can be used. Have a look at this sequence. See if you can find the common difference for this. We see that if we add 5 to each term, we get the value for the next term. For example, negative 9 plus 5 equals negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 equals positive 1. Positive 1 plus 5 equals 6, etc. So the common difference d is equal to 5. We see that the first term, a1, is equal to negative 9. Similarly, we can number all the other terms we have shown here from a2 to a7. But let's say we wanted to find the value for the term a12. We could start at term a7 and keep on adding 5 till we get to term a12, but there is an easier way. We can use the equation for sequences a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. We want to find the value for term a12, so we can say that in this case, n equals 12 and term a n is equal to term a12. And because n equals 12, n minus 1 will be 12 minus 1. We can substitute negative 9 for term a1. And since 12 minus 1 equals 11, We'll write 11 here. The common difference d in this sequence is equal to 5. So we'll write 5 here for d. Now our equation is a12 equals negative 9 plus 11 times 5. 11 times 5 equals 55. So now we have a12 equals negative 9 plus 55. Negative 9 plus 55 equals 46. So the value for the term a12 is equal to 46. Here's a question for you to try. You're asked to find the value for the 45th term in the sequence shown here. Pause the video and see if you can work out the answer. Then resume the video to check your answer. We'll start by finding the value for the common difference d. It is the difference between consecutive terms. We'll use term 2 minus term 1. Term 2 is negative 46. And we'll subtract term 1, which is negative 66. Negative 46 minus negative 66 is the same as negative 46 plus 66. So we'll write that here. Negative 46 plus 66 equals positive 20. So the value for d is 20, which we'll make a note of up here. The general equation for an arithmetic sequence is a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. We're looking for the 45th term, so n equals 45 and n minus 1 is 45 minus 1. The value for term a1 is negative 66, so we'll write that in for a1 in the equation. 45 minus 1 is equal to 44. So we'll replace 45 minus 1 by 44 in the bracket here. And the common difference d is equal to 20. So we'll write 20 here for d. So now we have the equation a45 equals negative 66 plus 44 times 20. 44 times 20 is equal to 880. So we'll write 880 in here. Now we're left with the equation a45 equals negative 66 plus 880. Negative 66 plus 880 is the same as 880 minus 66, which is 814. So our final answer is the value for the 45th term in this sequence is equal to 814. Here's another type of question we can do involving sequences. We're given the value of term a11 in an arithmetic sequence is 113. 
and the common difference is 7. And we're asked to find the value for the first term in this sequence. We'll start by writing the general equation for an arithmetic sequence. An equals a1 plus n minus 1d. Because we're given the value for term a11, we'll replace n by 11 and n minus 1 by 11 minus 1. We're given that term a11 is 113, so we'll replace a11 by 113. And 11 minus 1 equals 10, so we'll replace 11 minus 1 by 10. At this point, we have the equation 113 equals a1 plus 10 times d. The common difference d is equal to 7, so we'll write 7 in here for d. Now we're left with the equation 113 equals a1 plus 10 times 7. 10 times 7 is equal to 70, so we'll write 70 in here. Now we have 113 equals a1 plus 70. We just need to solve this for a1 by subtracting 70 from both sides of the equation. So we get a1 equals 113 minus 70. 113 minus 70 is equal to 43. So the value for the first term a1 is equal to 43. Here's a question for you to try. Term a7 is equal to negative 23, and the common difference d is equal to negative 5. Find the first term in this sequence. Pause the video, come up with the answer for yourself, then resume the video and check your answer. We'll start by writing the general equation for an arithmetic sequence. an equals a1 plus n minus 1d. Because we're given the value for term a7, We'll replace n with 7 and n minus 1 with 7 minus 1. Term a7 equals negative 23 and 7 minus 1 equals 6. So we'll write these in here. The common difference d equals negative 5. So we'll write negative 5 in here. So at this point we have the equation negative 23 equals a1 plus 6 times negative 5. 6 times negative 5 equals negative 30. So a1 plus 6 times negative 5 becomes a1 minus 30. Now our equation is negative 23 equals a1 minus 30. We can solve for a1 by adding 30 to both sides of the equation. This results in the equation a1 equals negative 23 plus 30. Negative 23 plus 30 is equal to positive 7. So the final answer is the first term a1 in this sequence is 7. In summary, the general equation for an arithmetic sequence, an equals a1 plus n minus 1d, can be used to find an unknown term an, or the first term a1 when we're given the values for the other variables. It is a very useful equation.